Robot designers gathered at Robo Japan 2008 in Yokohama, Japan to showcase their latest developments. Entities Yokichi Nagishi has more. Within the last decade, cell phones and computers have become a part of modern life. In the near future, we might see robots not only in assembly lines, but just as much a part of our daily life as cell phones, cars, and computers. Tomotaka Takahashi, award-winning robot creator, hopes to see robots in our life not just for convenience, but also as our friends. Uh, robots going to be uh, your uh, home and uh, will be uh, your family member pretty soon. We tend to think about uh, you know, practicality, usage of robot, but we never think that way to your family or your you know, boyfriend or girlfriend. You know. uh, please treat them as their, uh, your friend. Current robot designs mostly resemble male qualities like stiff movement and don't have much feminine qualities. Creating feminine robots is one of the next steps to making robots a part of our daily life. Uh, there is no uh, female type robot and, uh, because there was a uh, technical problems. The first one is it's harder to put you know, all the parts inside of a thinner body. And so uh, that's why I gotta uh, use smaller parts and also design. The second one is most of the researchers in the robotics field are male, so we don't know how to realize female type robot. It's you know nothing to do with wearing scarred or you know having longer hair. Tomotaka's mini climbing robot helped the electronics company Panasonic set the Guinness World Record for the longest lasting battery. This robot climbed a 530 meter rope up the Grand Canyon in 6 hours and 46 minutes on two Panasonic Evolta AA batteries. I'm Yukichi Nigishi, NTD, Yokohama, Japan.